I'm Jordan Rayner, and this is the Word Before Work. Today we're reading from 2 Corinthians 4, verse 18. Here's what it says. So we fix our eyes, not on what is seen, but on what is unseen. Since what is seen is temporary, but what is unseen is eternal. Again, that's Paul's very familiar words in 2 Corinthians 4, verse 18. If we're not careful, this well-known verse can be easily misinterpreted to mean that the only thing of eternal significance at work are the souls that we're coming into contact with. But based on what we see throughout Scripture, we know that can't be the right interpretation of this passage. Isaiah 60 makes it clear that some of the things we make today have the chance of physically lasting into eternity. In his first letter to the Corinthians, Paul said that some of our work will survive God's judgment. See 1 Corinthians 3, 10 through 15. And of course, Jesus' own ministry was just as much about redeeming the seen material world as it was about the unseen spiritual one. He turned water into wine. He multiplied food and spent as much time healing physical bodies as he did preaching to immaterial souls. Okay, so if Paul's not telling us to ignore the material world of work, what does 2 Corinthians 4.18 mean? The answer is, is found in the context of this passage. In verse 17, Paul says, quote, Our light and momentary troubles are achieving for us an eternal glory that far outweighs them all. Paul's not saying that the seen material world is bad and the unseen immaterial world is good. He's saying that in light of the unseen eternal rewards, Awaiting those who persevere in the Lord, the troubles we can see in this life are relatively inconsequential. So, believer, what troubles are you experiencing because of your faith today? Are you choosing to make less money so you can be at home to disciple your kids? Are you ostracized at work for sharing the gospel with your coworkers? Have you lost your job? Maybe for calling out injustice within your company? The troubles these things produce are real and seen, but they cannot compare to the unseen glory that far outweighs them all. Believer, fix your eyes on that hope today. Today's devotional only scratches the surface of how God's word connects to our work. If you want to go deeper, sign up for my free 20-day devotional called The Word Before Work Foundations at twbwfoundations.com. These email devotionals are designed to help you gain a rich understanding of the biblical narrative of work, how exactly your work matters for eternity, and what those truths mean for how we ought to work today. Sign up right now, again, totally free at twbwfoundations.com. 